will discuss about project 2, the same scenario which you saw in project 1. So here this complete plan will be plus G plus 4 structure and rest of all the conditions are same as like the previous one and based on this plan we will create the column and beam positions because this will be the balcony area and here you have the balcony here we will add one column because this is at corner and you may not add also column but here we will be creating this as a cantilever and this is the plan of your project 2. So what we do is we will be using our exercise file for project 7 and here you can see the ground plan for this and we will be creating the columns and G plus 4 structure. So I will select all the nodes and here I don't need columns so I will deselect it and here I will at this particular balcony will be giving the column so I will keep it. I will go to translate the directions will be Y and minus 3 link this will be created. So this particular plan you can create through your grid system or you can import from AutoCAD also. You can directly go to file, import and you can import the AutoCAD structure if you require also. Next we will copy this structure. I will go to copy, I will go for 4 numbers, 3 meter and directions will be Y and I will go to link step. This will be your structure, how it looks like. But it is very important that where you don't consider your columns, that you have to take care very clearly. So I will select this complete plan. I will go for translate repeat, directions will be Y and this will be 3 meter and I will go for post steps, link steps, this will be created. So here I don't need the column placement, so you can delete this, so this will be something like this. So it is very important to create the right kind of structure which you are looking for. So once you create it, you have to go for the renumbering as the default process nodes next you go for the columns and beams renumber because when you find the results you will find no problem go to the general property and define the size I'll go for 0.3 by 0.3 and 0.5 by 0.275 for my beams. So I'll go to select beams parallel to X. I'll go to select beams parallel to Z and this property I'll be assigning to all members. Next, I will go to the property number 1, select beams parallel to Y and we will assign this. After that, we will go to the front view and we will mount the ground support. I will select all the ground nodes, assign and this will be assigned. Now, we will move into our loads. I will go to add, dead load, I will go to DL, go to live load, external beam, internal beam, floor load, and finally parapet. I 
go to the dead load cell poet external beam directly you can use this area load for all also minus 12 but in our area project we have used the member load so the area load typically you can use for the beams for applying the area loads so it is very good internal beam I can go for the area load of minus 6 floor load I will be defining minus 6 from 0 to you can see 4 floor and ground and you can add this 15 mit meter because ground plus 4 you have you can directly see next is parapet parapet will be for the top one so carefully you have to select all are selected so this all I'll be removing which you don't need whichever we don't need you can remove remove this zoom it and properly deselect it or you can use one technique go to the front view all the lines deselect those so it is pretty difficult in selecting so one by one you can select like this this will do a quick trick so you have to use the selection technique all these members only I'll highlight this area so view view selected only so here you can have little bit of less complexity otherwise you will struggle a lot so some quick tricks you can develop so this will be my parapet add area load minus 6 direction will be y so directions you need to configure properly in case of area load right so this I'll be assigning to the selected beams next I'll go to view all the objects external beams so you can go to the top view and you can select all this so that everything will be selected 1 2 3 4 5 the external beam assign this floor load is done internal beams we have to select go to the top and all internal beams 
need to be considered this we have to select properly assign to selected beams and next is cell weight so go to select all the beams assign and you can develop this next quickly you can run and check analysis print p delta let us say 15 and just run it for the correctness analyze run analysis and just you look the basic go to the post processor based on all the conditions the result which you are looking for mode shape and this is the structure and how it behaves based on this condition but we have not yet done the RCC development based on the default concrete we have done now we'll go for the RCC design over this so go to the modeling go to the general go to the design and add the defined parameters so before going to define parameters here you have to select different country code like DIN, the Canadian, British, the American, Astro you can use for the breach design Astro code. So I will go for IS456 concrete, American concrete institute. Canadian, British and you can get IS456. Define parameters, otherwise this code will be different for different countries. So little bit change you can find. Beam axial force, clearance you can define, 0 0.02 here I am saying. Earlier project I have given 0 0.01. Depth you can consider, 0.25. Concrete strength, yield strength of main bar, yield strength of secondary bar, maximum main size, maximum secondary size, method, eccentricity basically, minimum main, minimum size requirement for main requirement, I can go for 16 mm, secondary I am going for 8, ratio 4%. The tied column, I will go for no spiral. Basically, the secondary tie, how you do tied column. Torsion, I do consider. Track, the middle one, beam design plus intermediate level details. Close it. Select beam, select all, and assign to view. Select, you can do. Without selections also you can go to assign to view, assign to view, assign to view, no selection required, assign to view and all the property independently you can assign to view and transfer as for a requirement. Maximum main I am assigning to view, maximum secondary assign to view, method I will assign to view minimum size of the main reinforcement bar, secondary reinforcement bar, ratio for reinforcement and so on. Everything you assign to view, then you go for your commands and go for design of beams and design of columns. So design of beams, typically I will select beams parallel to X and select beams parallel to the G direction and I will assign to selected beams only. Just like that the columns, I will go to select beams parallel to Y direction and I will assign this. Now I will run the analysis. And just like the earlier project, I will evaluate and change 
each and every details i'll go to post processing and you can find the structures displacement in all corresponding points the negative symbolizes compression and deflection in x y z direction independently evaluate once you have done this minus 10 over this particular node and directly you can go to the reactions for all the point reactions directly here you can check the reactions condition and next you can go to the beam and you can see the beam force the axial force bending moment and shear force wherever it is there you can see minus 58 maximum negative you are getting over this particular beam you can check independent so whether that is resulting any failure that you can check directly this number also so which are the critical beams there you can add more design parameters for strengthening your beams and typical reinforcement you can allow there and you can double click and check the concrete design so here you can see the bar placements and these are the sizes and here you can see the size whatever the specifications you have given so based on that you can have for the columns as well these are the column size with the required suggestions and placement so these are very important to understand and project your failures and here you can see the bending moment torsion you can directly allow all this diagram for plotting and here you can also check beam stresses what about the beam stresses you have the collective beam stresses so over the graphs you can check as shown before independently for each and every beam and column the specific diagram will be shown so that you can judge that where maximum compressive strength or tensile strength is developed whether this beam can withstand that or not based on your strength of the rcc and h soon in the iterative project you can check all this point and you can evaluate this so three to more floor you can add and you can analyze again and you can see the changes based on that you can do all the competitions which i suggested so in our coming project we will discuss about this structure and that will analyze thank you